Hey guys, this is Copenhagen Fan 07 here, and I am bringing you the lid trick. A lot of videos on YouTube, but you know, whenever I was first learning it, they didn't seem to help me that much because didn't tell me much. Get to finish off this can, and we're going to get started. All right. Metal can, and if you've never done this before, don't start out trying with Grizzly. The Grizzly is thick, very thick. And very tough to get to. You can do it, but um, uh, it'll it'll look like that. I don't know if you guys can see it really well, but it's got creases everywhere. It looks horrible. Then I got a little better, and they'll come out like that. But you don't want to start out with it. Alright, now most people on YouTube, they'll say you take it in your hand and you just squeeze a little bit and start turning. That is what you do, but they don't tell you you need to give it a good fold. You need it to be about like that. But don't just grab it and squeeze it too hard or else it's just going to crease and you can't do anything with that. So you want it about right there. That's good. You're going to take it in your hand, and you're just going to say you squeeze and it folds out, squeeze and it folds. You're just going to do that, okay? And this takes about anywhere from one to five minutes, depending on how good you are. Um, sometimes it takes me anywhere from one, five, six, seven minutes. But um, Copenhagen cans are the easiest. Cope and Copenhagen. Um, skull, it's, those are pretty easy, not as easy as Copenhagen. Um, grizzly, terrible. So hard to do it with. God, I hate grizzly. Not the dip, but the cans. <laughs> but, um, you just take it in your hand, give it that good bend, and just work it. Okay? Mmm. And soon, you'll start to hear a crack. Once it starts cracking, you know it's working. And your first time, probably take you 10, 15 minutes unless you, you know you get lucky and you really pay attention to the video. But uh, my hands are kind of sore right now. I need to keep switching because I played guitar for like four hours and fingers and hands kind of cramping but all right now as you listen you'll hear it crack hear it cracking right there and those are the edges given out and you just keep working it. it starts popping out easier and easier And then starts doing that. If you can see it. And basically from there it wears itself down. And it makes a good circle. It won't be sharp. Unless you sit there and bend it out. Which you don't want to bend it out. You want to work it out. But I mean. Simple trick. A bunch of people don't know it. Bunch of people do, you know. People around you, you say, "Have you seen the can trick?" No, be like, "Well, I can get this center off without using a knife or anything. Just use my hands, and, you know, make some money off of it if you want." But just keep working it in your hands, nice and easy. Hmm. But 
Man, you guys, if you haven't seen the mud jug one, uh, five cans of dip, you guys need to watch that. That dude is my hero. Five cans of dip in five minutes. Yes, in five minutes. You heard me. Right there. Okay. And it's just hanging by a little piece. You know, you bend it. There it is. No bends, no crease. It's a perfect, it's not sharp at all. I mean, you know, it's a lot of pressure, nothing. Um, then you got the beautiful little ring, which I don't do much with the rings. And um, just add it to the collection, you know. Got a big old collection, Skull, Grizzly, Copenhagen, Cope. Just keep adding up. You know, my goal by the end of 2012 is to have five of these filled up. And I put 30 in each of them. I got about 23, 24 in there now. But, um, keep dipping, keep spitting, and stay happy.